If you can't beat them, join them. And if you can beat them, make them join you. Those are the wise words of Jurgen Klopp. Well, not really, but I'll stop bullshitting you. With the deadline for this January's transfer window only days away, things are finally starting to heat up. 25-year-old Colombia international Luis Diaz, who plays for Porto in Portugal's top league, has been on the radar of a lot of Europe's top clubs, most notably Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham's bid of €46 million Euro and Diaz was seemingly their only chance of signing this window, after Will's Adama Traore was swiped up by Barcelona yesterday. Diaz has performed very well over the last year, with his biggest achievement arguably being the joint top goalscorer in the Copa America last year. All of this led Porto to claim that they wouldn't consider any bids lower than the €18 million Euro release clause that they were reportedly holding out on. As Liverpool have been eyeing up Diaz for a while, their analyst's initial rundown of the 25-year-old valued him at a price of roughly half that of his initial release clause. Despite this, disguises are seemingly happy to settle for a fee that looks like it will end up around a 60 million euro range, with add-ons considered. You may be asking, why didn't Diaz join Tottenham already when that offer has been around for quite a while? Well that's a stupid fucking question, I mean just l I'm sorry, I'll try to take this rationally. There are two main reasons as to why Liverpool may be the more attractive option, with the first being, now that both options are on the table, which club would a player get more exposure at for future reference and where would they fit in the best? At Liverpool, with the front three of Salah, Mane and Firmino all being 30 this summer, there's definitely room for a new bloke to be added to the rotation. At Spurs, however, Diaz knows that he'll be fighting for what is arguably the safest spot on the pitch, which is Hyongmin Son's wing position. This competition wouldn't be as fierce at Liverpool, considering the unavailability of the front line either due to injuries or international duties such as AFCON. In other news, Liverpool are still trying to get Nat Phillips to get picked up for around £15 million, but the only offer they received regarding this was a £7 million loan to buy option from Watford. This deal was promptly rejected. Another young red, Rhys Williams, has been called back from his loan at Swansea City. This move is arguably in response to the possibility of the departure of Phillips as William would move up to being the fifth choice centre back for Klopp's team. The only other departing player would be Loris Karius. The German keeper is now out of contract and is able to leave as a free if he can sort out a move. The last of Liverpool's interesting new players would be Fulham's Fabio Carvalho, who is currently only 19. If Fulham decided to collect their cash and return for the midfielder, it could be a nice little injection into their pockets, and Klopp would pick up yet another young talent that he can coach to success. Are you surprised by this move? Are you an over-the-moon Liverpool supporter? Or are you a borderline suicidal Spurs fan? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've got any other video ideas that you'd like to see me do, please let me know. I can't do sentences very well, I sound very monotone.